Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. So this time we are going to try out Matrix ROM, so which I have already tried many times actually. This is the updated version of it. So I have been using this ROM about a week now. It's working pretty well actually. So if you check, as you can see here, it's based on Android 15. The version we are using here is 11.2.6 official vanilla version. And the security patch level is from 5th of February 2025. So there is no GFs version of this ROM. So if you flash this ROM, if you want GFs, you have to flash it separately. Mm -hmm. The setting layout is pretty much similar to all other iOS based ROM. It looks good and I really like the way Android 15 looks actually. And the notification panel is pretty much similar. One thing which I like about this notification panel is that it changes color according to the dark mode and light mode. Some of the ROMs don't really change with the light mode. So when you turn on light mode, it does not go to light mode. This one goes to light mode. So that's good. And in terms of customization, we do have metrics section here, user interface. There are tons of customization available. And in the miscellaneous section, we have game space. You can turn it on. And we have Google Play Integrative Spoof, does not work actually. Unlimited photo storage does work. And sidebar option is available. So if you use sidebar, that is available. It looks good and works really well here. No issue with sidebar. So if you want to use that, you have to turn it out from here. And also we have swipe to screenshot, does work as you can see here. The screenshot is working. So in terms of customization, you are getting a lot here. You can change it up to your liking. In terms of network and internet, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, VoLTE, Bo Wi-Fi, all those things working perfectly fine. I haven't faced any issue in this one week of use. Display section, we have adaptive brightness does work. Dark mode, night mode, colors, few other things here. Double tap to work and double tap to sleep does work as you can see here. So no issue with all these things. Wallpaper and style. We don't really have any kind of AI wallpaper here, but the default wallpapers are good as you can see here. There are a few wallpapers. And in the more log screen option, we do have a few other things like dynamic clock and always show time info, all those things, but no AOD. In the battery section, the battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue, but still we are not getting any kind of fast charging here. But the battery backup is quite good. So no issue and charging control option is a Bible. So you can limit charging and schedule charging. All those things are a Bible. Descent actually, and then vibration, no issue. And we do have Dolby Atmos option as you can see, dynamic right now. You can change it up to your liking and part app volume control also a Bible. So you are getting everything here actually. Security and privacy section, we are getting both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them work really well so as you can see here fingerprint unlock pretty fast and accurate no issue face unlock going to be a little bit slower in the more security option we do have few other options like clipboard auto clear extended unlock theft protection all those things and as android 15 based ROM, we are getting private space here so you can turn it on too in the system setting we are getting few other things like navigation mode you can change it and there is new option called disable default frame rate for games. So if you turn this on, it will be all graphical setting in your game. I don't think it's going to be that much beneficial, but the option is there. Shami parts option also available as you can see here, clear speaker and all those things. And you can also calibrate display. So these things are available, nothing much actually. So that's all about the setting panel. In terms of application, we are not getting a lot here. As I said, this one, not a GOS build. So if you want GFs, you have to flash it separately. The built-in camera is Xiaomi's camera as you can see here, which works really well, no issue. I haven't faced any issue with the camera here. If you like to use Gcam, you can use actually. So camera has no issue, you can use it. And there are a few other applications, Dolby Atmos as I said, it is working. In terms of Google Photos, the unlimited storage is available. As you can see here, unlimited storage available and Magic Editor is also working. Quite fast too actually. Can it is now. So it is working. So as you can see here. 
no issue with Google Photos and Magic Editor. And in terms of safety net, so one of the disappointing part of this ROM is that we are not getting any kind of safety net feature. Because of that, actually, you will not be able to use any kind of bank application or few other application which required safety net features. As you can see here, Play Protect certification is not there. So you will not be able to use a bank application and few other application. That's a disappointing part because Matrix ROM used to come with safety net feature. In terms of call, I did try calling here. As you can see here, test. You can record phone calls without any kind of issue. The phone call recording is working. And Bo LT and Bo Wi Fi also working perfectly fine. Also. So, call recording option is there. Bo LT, Bo Wi Fi does work perfectly fine. No issue. So, these things are working pretty well. No issue with that. And the ROM is really smooth actually. I haven't faced any hiccup or anything like that. As you can see here, everything works pretty well. And I did not disable any kind of animation here. Everything is a Bible. As you can see here, animations are pretty good. In terms of gaming, also, it is doing pretty well. Obviously, in this device is pretty old right now. You can still do 30 FPS gaming without any kind of issue on this device. So you can still do gaming here. So the ROM is pretty much usable as a daily drive. Only disappointing part about this ROM is that you are not getting safety net. And another thing is that you are not getting any kind of fast charging option. Beside that, everything is working perfectly fine. So if anyone wants to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. And that's all about it actually. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.